Example 3, find the value of x and list the angles and the sides of triangle ABC in order from shortest to longest. So if you have a triangle ABC, and here they're giving us um, these angles, all, the, all three angle measures, and they want us to just list the angles and the sides in order from from least to greatest or shortest to longest. Okay, so um, I know that measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C is equal to 180. Okay, and that's the angle sum theorem. Okay, all three angles of a triangle add up to 180, right? So then I'm just going to substitute all this in. 9x plus 18 plus 22 plus 11x plus 10x minus 10 is going to equal to 180. So let's see, I'm going to add up my like terms, all the x's, okay? So 9x plus 11x is 20, uh, plus 10 is 30x, okay? And then 18, 22 and minus 10. So 18 plus 22 is 40, minus 10 is 30. So plus 30 equals 180. I'm going to subtract 30, so 30x equals 150. And then when I divide 30, x is going to equal 5. So that's not the end of the problem. Uh, we found the value of x, and then we have to list the angles and sides um, in order from shortest to longest. So before I can start on my sides, I have to know what my angle measures are, right? So I have to plug x back in to find measure of angle A. So measure of angle A is 9 times 5 plus 18, which is 45, okay? Plus 18, that is 63 degrees. Measure of angle B, 22 plus 11 times 5. So that's going to be 77 degrees. And then measure of angle C is 10 times 5 minus um, 10. That's 50, that's 40 degrees. Let's just double check our work to see that um, all of this is going to add up to 180. So 63 plus 77 plus 40, that's 10, 1080. So then, so that's right, all three add up to 180. So we have the correct angle measures. Then um, just you can just use any diagram, okay? Just draw a triangle ABC just so you can see, uh, visually see what sides are opposite the angles. Okay, so um, angles in order from least to greatest would be uh, measure of angle C, that's the, the um, sh smallest, and then measure of angle A, and then measure of angle B has the greatest angle, right? Because that's for the angles, and then for the sides. So then measure of angle C, the side opposite measure of angle C is going to be AB. So AB, for A it's going to be BC, and then for B it's going to be AC. Okay. So that's example three. The last example is going to